I need to tell you today. Are you there? Yes, now, when I gave my life to Christ early, part of the reason why I prayed so much was because I wanted to know why the trends and the patterns that were associated with our family was so. I sought wisdom for long. I sought wisdom for long until God began to give me insight that what happened is jealousy. You know, my dad was the first son and he was quite an intelligent person. So he, he got scholarship to school in the United States and while he was there, he was training his brothers back home. He was the first notable person that rose from our village, first. The secondary school that is in our village today, it was my father that brought it. Because of his influence in Benin State government, he influenced that school to be there today. So in his burial, during his burial, the principal of the school came and gave a long speech. And when I looked around, I found out. Because when we came for the burial, our compound was filled. So I went to the next compound. I didn't know them all. I just went there. I said, I'm looking for where to sleep. They said, who are you? I said, that man they are burying. I'm his son. <laughs> his son. That's how I got where to. <laughs> That's how I got where to. The man they are burying. That man, ah, sleep here. So I had a hut to myself. I was not squeezing. And there were no witches sleeping with me. I was alone, just enjoying my life. And so there was a lot of envy and all of that. And it led to so many things. And it generated a case in the spiritual. It was that case that was not solved that translated to an affliction that befell this man that is the reason why I decided to look for God and know him. Because I saw my dad die. I saw him die. So I said, I will not come back home until I found Jesus. If he's still alive, I'll find him. If I don't find him, then he has died. So I left. And I said, I will not return until I find Jesus. That was how my fast started. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Then Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, I can see. You are praying. I said, What do you mean by that? I've been here. I'm, you, you, are, you are laboring and you are saying, <laughs> I can see that. You are praying. I continued. On the 20th of October, angels visited my room and they were there for four days. It was in that encounter that my spiritual eyes were open. All right? Now, I, I said I wanted to show you how to inquire of God. Hmm? First, you, do you know how to empty your heart? I know you are troubled. You, you want money, you want... Can you empty your heart? Just make it empty. That is, remove your troubles from it. Oh. All right. Where's my man or the instrument? Let me... This, this is practical. That's how those angels came into my room. The atmosphere changed. My room lacks... Um, what do I call it? You know the net that we put on the house to stop mosquitoes from coming in. There was no net. That was where I was. This encounter was so strong that mosquitoes did not come into my house. I know you will not believe that. Yes. It was from that day to today that I received what it takes to discern the presence of spiritual entities. When you want to seek the Lord, are you there? Seven days after that encounter again, then Jesus now comes to me. That was the day the yoke that was upon my family was broken from my own life. The allegations that were tendered against us in the court of heaven was long and it was unveiled. When the intelligence came, he, I didn't even know what to do with the information. He taught me, say, do like this, do like that, do like that. And do you know that 
from that time that I did that, I did that, okay, you know, he encountered me 20th of October, 2022. Are you there? So I started doing what he said I should do from October, November, December. Then the next encounter was 13th of January, 2003, where an angel walked through the wall and said, your, your life is changed. Then he brought a scroll and began to read out the counsel of God concerning my life. I found out that there are some weights of judgment that can be upon you. It will distract you from destiny. It will distract you from destiny. It will be easier for you to embrace a distraction than that which is divine concerning your life. When you have wasted many years, that's when you realize. The padlock that was used to lock us, it broke. That was when the angel gave me information and said the reason why it took so long was because I was not just praying for myself, I was praying for the entire family. And the victory that he brought was not just for me, it was for everyone. Some of you are laboring you, and it's only your own prayer point you are taking, but heaven, the bag that heaven has opened to receive your prayers is family based. So even though you have decided to only be mentioning your name, in the back they are collecting the, <laughs> it's a personal decision. That is only your name you will mention. Only your name. You mention your grandfather's name your fa so that the angels will not, will not, your gran grandfather, your father's name and your own name in that lineage. This is the, but the bag they are using to collect the prayer. It's a family bag. And that's why your labor in that prayer will take some time. But when God wants to change the season, what he does is that he gives you strategic insight about things that are captured within the realm of the justice system of heaven. The Bible says that he inquired year after year and God now spoke to him. It is for Saul and his bloody house. When you want to inquire of the Lord, empty yourself. One of the easiest way to achieve it is to get music your soul normally is disarmed by music the kind of music you like the worship that you like huh put it it that worship that you like has a way of texturing your heart ayakunema psychotamina halakabayak i mean i like strings that's why i always ask for it Saboria Kasketobi Nakanteli. Empty yourself. Don't see yourself. Take your problems off and just wait on him. Wait on him. A time will come, you'll be able to discern if there are movements going on in the spirit realm. Another time will come. If you stay in it, another time will come, you'll be able to distinguish between the voices. You will know who is talking, who is moving, who is trying to reach you who has been dispatched from heaven to come help you. You will know it if you stay. He inquired of the Lord. May the Lord give you grace to inquire from him in the name of Jesus. So we are going to speak in tongues for two minutes. Then I will tell you the things that are coming. Some things are coming through the window. Coming through the door. Coming coming inquiry the moment you put yourself before your prayer you have lost it you can no longer find the mind of God what you are doing will be dissipated it will be lost but magnify him before your face make him big enlarge him make him high like a mountain make him strong before your eyes Kobaha <laughs> Akaito sami habakla preskota ika masante la hukeske tomila arapa santo seti asakatu la sata mantelia ika preskota bansha kande busha kaparata mi sosali 
a que isso se la curia santa ele abras que tonde bacantola isso se la abras que ta mila caparande abaito campasca rico bande salico saminala em brisco fanda campala e gosselo bonte zacabu Usha keskoteli rakadoli masatelia ibraske to bizo sana kanta baba bode asiko braska tabela mama natalia kofela braske ko patula hasi mahayendo kombre baluna santelia in the name of jesus if you empty your heart like that, you will begin to fill it up. And the way you will know that it is him that is speaking is that the more you either pray in tongues or you worship, the thing will be enlarged. It will be, it will be bigger. But if it's not him, if you pray in tongues and worship, it will fizzle up. For instance, there is a woman here. You stepped on a charm. You stepped on a charm and what happens to you is that you feel as if something is moving in your leg from your feet it moves to your waist and this normally happens on your left leg if that woman is here stand up you stepped on something come let's uh, are you are you with me come you see this is not a big deal some people say ah you can hear god oh my god if only you knew that you can hear better it's not there's nothing you need to know when i'm traveling and i'm talking to jesus i can sustain a discussion with jesus for five hours on the plane five hours five hours before the plane touches down i already have a very good idea of where i'm going the people i meet the Five hours. Now, I know you will not believe me. That's why I, I'm doing this. Empty your heart. When you empty your heart, are you there? Okay, investigate. Let's be sure that it is true. Keep going. It, it, it will begin to form. It will begin to form. But you know what? You can't determine the information God will give you. That's why it will take time. You are going for your own information. It will begin to show me about this sister. Receive that one. Receive from this sister. Call her. It's her own answered prayer. Say, this is what God is saying. Go and... Uh, but you go back again. You continue. After a while, after some months, your own will come. That's how we inquire of the Lord. Do you see that in this inquiry, it took three days for David to be able to get the fact sometimes it takes long sometimes it's shorter but it takes time and someone that is not willing to spend time before god will never unravel the mystery normally we ask a question are you the one who is to come or should we expect another will it be your children that will come and make the inquiry get the wisdom get the insight the intelligence to destroy the puzzle I will wait on the Lord. Yes? Uh, mama here, she opened a shop this January. She opened the shop this January. And one of the days she went to her shop. And went to her shop. She felt a vibration. There was a vibration. And uh, since then... She's... Okay. okay. Now, this one now is not... Are you, are you... What I want to do now... Is part of the authority Jesus gave me. This one is not available to the average believer. This one is this one. I can pray for this woman and transfer this thing to the person that put that charm there. Such have I received from the Lord. Um, you know, each and every one of us needs to know what Jesus has given him. Even when I wake up from sleep, I know what Jesus in fact and that is what i will do i will transfer it back to the let the person experience you know the, th the things they carry around all right yes what's the situation with 
months ago, uh, Mama here had that experience. She stepped on something. And, she um, stepped on the left leg. Yeah, it's not been. And normal. the thing began to move. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That particular. One so three months ago, she had that experience, and uh, we are going to. What what happened to the same thing? All right. So. Now, let us seek wisdom on how to help them. It's still the same way. I think mommy is coming. So find out from mommy what her case is. And for your name is holy. Your name is holy. You are the Lord For your name is holy Is holy Lord I've seen several of our colleagues in ministry come to cry out we've done everything we've prayed we've fasted the ministry has refused to open up no sign of any future those are suggestions that you need to inquire of the Lord to do what? Inquire. Inquire. So in this type of warfare, it's a precision type of warfare. So you will need to conduct an inquiry from the Lord so that he will give you intelligence. You cannot engage if you don't have the intelligence. Exactly. You can only engage with what? With intelligence. There are some unnatural forms of delay that can besiege someone's destiny. When you begin to see those symptoms, what you do is that you inquire. Of it. It's a precision battle. It's not something that you can say, every hand of darkness. <laughs> That's not what they do in court. Have you ever been to court? Have you seen a lawyer dispensing his defense? It is a craft. It's not a general delivery kind of thing. It is a craft. It's a craft. It's a craft. Hallelujah. Yes, what's, what's wrong with mommy? Mama's incidents happened about two years ago. Two years on ago. On her way to church. On her way to church. And um, that's why she walks. Okay, that's... This walking stick. That's why she walks with the walking stick. She stepped on something. And the energy of the thing began to transmit... So I will just lay hands on them and then we'll send we'll send the the affliction back to sender. You know, I'll touch you like this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You see, the spell is even breaking. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Let the spell break. Let it break. I command it to break. Break off you. Let it be broken. I release you from its grip in the name of Jesus. That which was designed to bring you injury. I frustrate it. I cut it off in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ. We break the yoke. We release you from the yoke. We release you from the yoke. From the crown of your hair to the soles of your feet. Every deposit that entered into your body. Spiritual substances designed to bring you injury. In the name of Jesus, and neutralize their power, and neutralize their power, 
I neutralize their power. I destroy, I destroy their powers. Oh my, it's coming out of your body. It's coming out. I destroy their powers in the name of Jesus. Okay, now that I've touched you, one will come out now. Let me go back to my place. So congregation, stretch your hand in that direction and begin to pray. Destroy that power. Anytime there's an intelligence, when you pray on the thing, it will give way. If there is no intelligence, you'll be too general. You will not be able to affect the matter. All right? So you see, it's breaking now by itself. It's giving way by itself now. It's giving way. Let her go. Let her go. Let them 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 go. In the name of Jesus, we neutralize it. We neutralize it. We destroy it. We destroy it. We release them. We release them. In the name of Jesus, let the yoke break now. Let the yoke break. Let the yoke break. Lord, I break it. In the name of Jesus. Let it fall off from their waist. Let it begin to go down. Down from the waist. Down to the knee. Down to the ankle. Down to the feet. Fall off. Fall off. Fall off. Fall off. Fall off. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fall off. In the name of Jesus. Let the power that holds you down. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Be released from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So I'm seeing a chain. There. There's a chain also. The people added a chain to, to ensure, to support the charm. So can we destroy the chain now? Let the chain be destroyed. Let the chain be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now I send the affliction back to the sender. Go back from whence you came. Go back in the name of Jesus. Go back in the name of Jesus. Go back in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, I'm seeing God heal, Pastor. That's mom. I'm seeing the healing. The healing anointing is upon you now. The healing anointing is upon you. The healing anointing is upon her. Can we, can we pray in the spirit? Can we pray in the spirit? Just for a moment. We'll still get back to our teaching, but just for a moment, just for a moment. It's so say like a Mandela. Brakataba bonde, Zekis, O Brote Bakandeli, Shaminaito, Cobreza, Ico Balabasude, Escom Vela, Aboko Santelia, Brisco Fatalia, Branta Babodo Hoske, Mahasuse like Atame, Jali Compresca, Bahalaito. Isose le enteli, rakatuza na halabanta, ikambra hasa escote barigo santoria, bazuze na iko brante, jaminanto osesa iko braska talababunda, mai kompari seko sisali, brante kondo kobre satakunda halakuria. Yes, yes, the, the pain on your leg that is responsible. For this cane that you carry, I banish it. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Isakoria Mahala Tadi. Isakoria Selibokom de Babalato. Not too long from now, you won't need that cane again. There's a healing walk. That is taking place. Your bones are coming together. Bones are coming together. Bones are coming together. In the name of Jesus. Oh, it's even strong. And there's also a restoration of a, the prophetic grace. 
there's a restoration. There's a restoration. Now, Osha, help me. I don't want her to be on the floor, okay? There's a restoration. I see the eagles of heaven. Your revelations are restored. Your sight that was taken from you it is restored. From this night, you mount up with wings in the spirit. With wings in the spirit. With wings in the spirit. With wings. Thank you, Lord. All right. If you can, you can go back to your seat. God bless you. Inquire of the Lord. That's what separates the boys from the men. The ability to inquire of the Lord. Your inquiry will release you into the realm of spiritual intelligence. The realm of spiritual knowledge. It is that spiritual knowledge that equips you for what we call spiritual warfare you cannot be effective in spiritual warfare without spiritual knowledge and that's why when you pray in tongues you just start praying in tongues praying in tongues praying in tongues praying in tongues has it happened to you before then the holy ghost will begin to give you prayer points does it happen to you because you need spiritual knowledge you operate in the gift of word of knowledge more in prayer than in ministration you need spiritual knowledge to be able to bring you into the capacities of spiritual warfare the moment you just begin to pray in tongues just praying in tongues you don't have a prayer point you're just loving God just praying in the spirit then he gives you knowledge on the area to focus that's how the realm works and that's how spiritual battles are fought the moment I pick it in the spirit I'll just be praying about it either casually or the the yoke will begin to break because I've already been pointed it's it's a, it's it's a game of accuracy it's a game of precision the, all those general prayers anything holding me down you will pray such prayers to old age you need to be specific even missiles those days there were laser guided missiles these days we have computer guided missiles but what i'm teaching here is a spirit guided missiles it must hit the target <laughs> hallelujah all right thank you and i hope that uh, this clip really blesses and transform your life if you do don't forget to hit that subscription button and turn on the notification so that you will not miss any of our daily upload once again don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe until then may god almighty bless and keep you amen